hot, not too cold. Okay. So I take it off a little bit, but you take your ladle, you do it for, and you start here from the top. Can you see it? Let's bring it right here. So and see you it. put it a little bit, and then you can fill it up. So you make one, one pan full. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy, and we let it simmer here. And then once we have the right temperature, then we flip it around and. So you mean you're gonna flip? You're gonna flip the whole thing? You're gonna do it? Drum let's roll see. It all? Let's see if we can do it. Like, right now, not yet, because um, it's still sticking to the ground. Right. But you better make sure you're using. Non, you want me to do it? Non-sticking pen. You do one too. How many people want me to do it? How many people want to no, see no, it? No. Like... No. I gotta do some squats real quick. Get ready. <laughs> I'm not good at this stuff. People are like, What's oh, you're butter? a chef. Yeah. The butter. This is like heart attack butter. It's a lot. All right. So you want the butter to be melted? Yeah. Okay. You guys see this up there? And then if it's too hot, because I need to turn it on. It's too hot, that's fine. Yeah. All right, so now we've got a nonstick pan, we've got our butter in there, we're gonna take, oh, uh, here we go, drum roll, you're gonna do it? That's Ready? Oh, you want me to do it too, all right? I want you to do it, see if you mess up first. Wait, a little bit more, I think. All right? A little bit more. I got nice clothes on, watch out. That is okay. You wanna make sure you have a little, a crepe normally has not much color. So, but... Ready, everybody? One, two, three. Dear God. Oh, oh, coming. Oh, you got it. Here we go. You good. see a little color. Normally shouldn't be wrinkled, you know. So when you I shouldn't be wrinkled either, but you know what? Wrinkled it's not has happening. a sort of trick to everything. All right. But yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna make it big, big. Is that okay? No, it's okay. All right. This Perfect. is all right. I'm moving around. That's perfect. All right. Fine. Move it around. So what we're making right now is our version of a savory crepe. We cut out the sugar, flour, a little bit of milk, a little bit of butter, yep. a, lot of, a lot of butter, <laughs> and. Uh, then we're gonna make a filling. Look at you. So you can do it again if you want to. So see, you have colors on both sides. So There's see, no doing way. the cap in here. You see, you can relax. You can always use a little tool here. No way, this is good. If you guys ever want a trick at home, and I always tell people, if you want to learn how to saute or flip things like eggs and so on, what I do is I take a piece of dry toast. And if you can actually practice at home flipping toast, that way it doesn't get all over the ground. And My dad you, always told me yep. it's like you put it forward and backwards, then yep. it works. When I was in trouble when I was a kid, my parents just always made me go cook the egg station. Yeah. But I practiced by flipping toast and pulling the toast forward. Or if you get really, really good, you can take grains or beans and start practicing. If grains and beans don't fall out, then you actually get pretty good at doing that. Yeah. So okay. while your crepe is working, I just keep you a little bit more temperature here. Okay. I start on the filling. So we have a nice crepe. You can prep it in advance. You can make a couple of them before ready. So uh -huh. you station yourself at home. Right. Yeah? So we have some ready. You can always warm it up. And now I heat up my pan. I'm going to be working. So what are we going to do? This is a whole New Orleans twist that you're doing, Exactly. Right? New Orleans twist. We'll be starting with some shrimp here. And I leave the pan on. I start with the shrimp. I don't use the onion and garlic yet. I don't want it to get burnt. Okay. So I want to sear them hot though. And I also put the scallops in. All right, everybody. Wish me luck. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it. I'm What's the bet? Who thinks I can't do this? You think I can or you think I can? I think you can. All right, cameraman David Corona, come here. Give me love, ready? We're gonna flip this crepe. Ready, chef? Yeah. Everybody on the count of three. Do it. One. Oh, man, I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> like, ready? One, two, three. Hey! Yeah. The crepe gods were on my side. This he had the bigger pen. See, it looks very nice, it's isn't it? Like, looks looks like a little wrinkly like me, but it's, it'll work. Looks like you've done it's it good. before. That's good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my crepe so, school paid off. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so in my pan, I have sizzling, the shrimp, the scallops, and the mahi-mahi. I added the mahi-mahi. Wow, can... this is all seafood. Yeah, all seafood right now. And see, this is easier now. So it's not falling out. We're, okay. we're seasoning it with salt and pepper. And now I already add a little bit of shallots because they're so chopped so finely. Perfect. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> All right, we got it. Looks good. Right. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna so go. Build I this. Have, yeah, we will do something here too. So All I right. can we cook together. So then we merge it together later. So while you you can also put some shallots in your pan and okay. a little bit garlic and some olive oil is here. Olive That's oil, perfect. shallots, garlic. Yeah. Everybody knows what a shallot is. Yeah. Basically, a baby onion that doesn't kick you in your face like a normal one would. And then it's a little has a strong flavor as well. Right. right? I it has like a it. Very strong flavor. How much I'm, garlic? Do we want a lot of garlic or a little bit of garlic? How much garlic do we want in here? He's using all the mise en place. What do you want me to do? I'm your guest. Is okay. that okay that I used all that garlic? Yeah, 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 Hold yeah, on, yeah. one more time. Did I, is that okay I used all the garlic? Thank you. Okay, Apparently you guys okay. are all from Gilroy, California. 
Okay. In the meantime, while he uses all the garlic, I deglaze my my seafood here with a little bit white wine, and then let it simmer down. I like that. So you just sear the fish. Yeah. You got scallops and shrimp and mahi mahi in there. And then I let it all simmer down, and we let that sit. In the same time, now we're making the sauce. So garlic again. There's a little bit of garlic in here. <laughs> Shallots. And now we're. I'm not going to hug anybody today. I'll tell you that. Now we're adding some artichokes to it, and we keep it chunky. You okay. can also puree all that, what we're doing, but if you keep it chunky, it looks more rustic later. Okay. So, but we can throw it in the blender if we have so to. So these are fresh artichokes. Can we use the ones in olive oil in the jar if we make You it can, easier? yes. Right. You use the one in olive oil and just strain them though, so you don't have too much oil in right. there. We have some roasted tomatoes. Nice. So we put those in there. The tomatoes are in season right now, so yeah. tomatoes would be easy, and roasting them is going to lock in all that great flavor. You guys smell this? Come here, smell this from here. I know I can't feed you, I don't want everybody to get me in trouble. You guys smell that? It's like culinary perfume right here, I'll tell you what. Smell, buddy, smell. come here, smell this. Isn't that beautiful? Not this is why everybody can follow. It's a pretty simple recipe, so we're adding all our ingredients here. Let me add some asparagus. Asparagus is nice. It's also, we use in Germany a lot, or in Europe in general, white asparagus. Have you uh -huh. used that? White right. asparagus is good, it's a little expensive, but... But very nice. The only difference between the white and the green, you always have to make sure you peel it. Oh, really? So it's not bitter. So you peel the peelings, and with the peelings, we do actually a nice asparagus soup as well. Nice. And the end cuts. So again, this is coming along very well. So nice. So salt, pepper, we always season every step. It's very important. This and is like the best demo I've ever done. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> if I had one of those thermoses with wine, I'd be in heaven right now, I'll just tell you that. If Mickey Mouse hat with wine. Great. So now I have to buy, I can eat. Since we didn't blend this now, I'm merging this together. Okay. So we want to finish this off. And since I have a lot of, see this? And I have a lot of liquid in there, I don't have to add some chicken stock or seafood stock. I just add some butter. Like a seafood facial. And with that butter, you can twist it around a little bit if you okay. like. So now the butter gives the binding nice. of the crab. You see that? So if you do this a little yeah. bit, just a touch. And the little fresh parsley is always good. Chef, I didn't eat lunch, so watch out. Okay? Yeah, see, this is watch your fingers. Okay. All right. And then, yeah. This is, this is great. This is so great. all you did is take the white wine, cooked it down. Yeah. You guys see how yeah. gorgeous that looks? Nice, huh? So this becomes, now we have a sauce as well with it. And now you put it on the half side on your crepe here. Okay. Do a little, have that spoon. Yeah, a little spoon in here. Right. So we fold it over there. You want so. me to spoon you here, huh? Yeah, exactly. I didn't get that. It's under. <laughs> I didn't get, she got that. That guy got that over there. He's like, I know exactly what you're talking about, spoonie, buddy. All right. Okay. So a little bit of love on that one. Lovely. Switch, ready? One, yeah. two, three, switch. Perfect. Nice move. So we're moving that around. So chef, how many restaurants in all do we have that you're just running and, and putting all these great menus together here at Disneyland? Oh, we have many. We have between QSR locations and Disneyland, table service locations, over, I don't know exactly. It's many, lot. many, 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 and um, and we have a lot of variety of um, food as well. We're working on our health wellness initiatives. As uh -huh. well. We have always vegetarian items, maybe not in that snack uh, location where you want to go to, but you find it somewhere else. Uh -huh. And the chefs can um, steer you in the right direction as well. So it's always something out there. Good. Can you guys tell who's yeah. whose is whose? <laughs> Mine's the one that looks like it took a detour. But it's okay. Oh, looks good. So what we got right here is a simple little crepe that we made, savory crepe, with seafood inside there. Thank you. You're hungry, I can tell. Yeah, so am I. You're not getting this. Let's set this yeah. guy here. And then since we talked to health wellness a little bit, we also have Mickey Jack items on our menus now for our children, where you can find out of the three food right. foods, we make the nutrition. And um, we also have vegetarian offerings all the time. We can still talk about a little salad very quickly. You want to make a salad? We can make a quick salad. We have that in Jolly Holiday. What I like about the salad, why I want to show you that. Uh -huh. Please can go turn ahead, this yeah. off. Yeah. So, we mix a lot of salads with some grains in it, which is very healthy in today's world. Uh -huh. So, I had some grain here, spelt. Spelt. Have Bless you heard you. about it? Bless yeah. You. It's called spelt. It's also, it's this one here. It's, we say Dinkel in German. Very what in German? Dinkel, you know, wouldn't know that. No. But it's very healthy, so you cook your grain separately. You can add barley as well into it, and then you're mixing it with a salad. Okay, so, so we're gonna make a grain salad here. Make a grain salad. Sounds healthy. 
quickly, but healthy doesn't mean it doesn't have to taste no, good. No, I dig it. Also, what we got here? We got some barley. I'll get your question in just a second, buddy. Uh, that's your barley. Put grains here. Nice, no salt, nothing. Just boil, cooked all the Just boil, but seasoned. Every seasoned. step again seasoned. So all right, you want me to dump this guy in here? Put it not half. Only, half. Yeah. It's not like garlic. Half in there. Right. Perfect. <laughs> half in it. Half of this guy right here? Yeah. So, yeah, this is all cooked already, guys. This so. is all cooked already. So to say, they only have half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> So one thing you want to look at, especially with grains and working with them, each grain is different. The great thing about, especially Red Mill and everybody else, like Spelt, like Faro, Faro Barley, Quinoa, and so on, they give you directions on the back how to cook them. I personally, instead of boiling grains all the time, what I do is I saute the grain in a pan, hit it with salt, put the equal amount of water that's supposed to be going in there, yep. and then I cook it like I would do rice in an oven. And that way, when it boils, it gets a little too gluey for me sometimes. I don't like it when and quinoa when you, is too mushy. Yeah, and then you roast it a little bit, you get normally the nuttiness of right. the grain all yeah, of it. And, get it, and it yeah. makes that inexpensive grain or whatever it is taste a little bit more earthier. But so. it helps you, it gives the protein to the salad, right. to the salad leaf. We're adding some uh, squash, yellow squash, yellow squash, zucchinis with it, right. some onions, and then at the end, we're finishing off with some mixed greens here. Are we going to just put this on top of here? We're going to mix the whole thing. Yeah, put it on top of there. For color, I also have some peppers. Memo to self, eat before you come on stage. <laughs> Holy moly, I'm starving. We can try this here. Some red peppers here. Red peppers here. So look how beautiful this is. We've got the zucchini, we got all the grains, we got the onions, the bell peppers. This is cool. I like it. What's that? Yeah, the zucchini is raw. Yeah, this is all raw, raw vegetable so far. So now we make the dressing. It's like a pesto sauce. You're gonna make a dressing in the vinaigrette? In yeah. The vinaigrette, uh, yeah, we do the dressing. So we have some basil. You can pick some parsley. If you oh, you want parsley in there too? Put a little parsley in there. We're mixing this all. All right. It's very easy. Washed before. Huh? So, our, so we can also add some garlic. Oh, you're out of garlic. I used it all. I have some roasted garlic. Can you smell it? Yeah, yeah. I can smell it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you. Pesto sauce. Thank you for saying that, that you can smell me from the front. Pesto thank sauce you. is made with pine nuts, but you can nut allergies in today's world. You right. can leave it in, you can leave it out. But so you're putting toasted pine nuts. Toasted can we do pine nuts. pecans, walnuts, yeah. anything? Yes, you can do anything like that if you're not allergic to nuts. Yeah. So you can do everything. So I have a little acidity. Sometimes I add balsamic vinegar, lemon juice, it's fine. Nice. So you want to make sure you add that. A little salt and pepper in there. Salt pepper, always season. Always season. Then we start with a little bit of olive oil. And we might need some more later. Okay. So we're going to get, so we have all this. See that? Get Which some. olive oil is best? Or what, what we're using right here? Extra virgin. We're using extra virgin. I always say extra what you can afford. <laughs> Pretty much. You don't find olive oil in our house. The only time we really use olive oil is what we finish with. So in summertime, I'll go and spend 20 bucks on a really nice bottle, then I'll finish kind of like a wine. You want a good wine to have around the house. Same thing with a good bottle of uh, olive oil. Yeah. Tomatoes, melons, prosciutto, you know, mozzarella. This is a good time to have that nice bottle of olive oil. That's a finishing olive oil. So you're not going to cook with it. Personally, I don't. Talk to Mario Vitale, he puts in everything because he has stock <laughs> in olive oil, you know, but just saying. So that's chunky, easy, just like that. You're so not gonna... chunky, easy. Right now we're looking. We need a little bit more liquid. It's not okay. all the way, and then push it down a little bit. You guys see where we're at right now? See that in there? Yeah. All stuff. It's chopped up. We got our uh, pine nuts. We got our parsley. We got our basil. We're basically making a pea stew, a pesto yeah. with no cheese, right? Exactly. We can add some cheese at the end, but in this uh, case we like to keep it vegan. Vegan. So we try to take some cheese out. Yeah. Yeah. Also, what I do sometimes, I add arugula salad. Nice. So you have an arugula oil. I mean, your creativity, it's open with that. So when nice. the salad gets a little wilted, I make normally an oil out of it and use it as a dressing. And another key trick I want to teach you guys this one, and I want to thank my good buddy Michael Chiarello that taught me this one. When making a pesto, take anybody have vitamin C in your cabinet? You know, you eat the vitamin C uh, capsules? Take a little bit, microplane a little bit of vitamin C in here. Just a touch, like an eighth, an eighth or a half of it, and it'll keep it vibrant and green for about four or five more days. Or when you're storing your pesto in your fridge or at home, I wrap it in a clear container with foil with the shiny side inside. And what actually oxidizes pestos and things that are green is the light. And that's the fridge, so the light's on the side there too. So you can actually make it last longer by just wrapping it with, with foil. There you go, that's my two tricks of the day. You can thank me on Facebook for that one. Yeah, it's a good trick actually, I like yeah. that idea. She's still, that's in our next cookbook. Thanks Ryan Scott. <laughs> that's good, so here's our pesto sauce now. That's gorgeous. And pesto then, looks nice too. And we keep it's still a little bit chunky. Not listening to me at all. No. <laughs> I'm closing. I know. 
So am I. <laughs> so we're mixing this up together. So right now you got that pesto in there, you mix it up. This is beautiful. What I love about so this is So now we have the natural colors. Is it good? So you can eat it Nice, I just want to make sure everything's good here. Yeah, it's very important. And actually, wine has a good point here. The most important thing what I take, taste, tell the chefs, in Disney, every step we need to taste everything. Right. Right. So it's nice. So we could always add a little salad underneath. So for the height, and then we plate up a little bit here. Uh, on ready the... for my serious plating chef thing here, ready? It's my Gordon Ramsay. Oh. There we go. <laughs> so serious here, my face is like right yeah, in the plate. Good. Looks like looks like you've done that before. I have. Very nice. How many people out there have caught my show Food Rush? Come on. How many people out there have caught Food Rush? So it needs more. A little garnish is always good. That's gorgeous. So then we have a little salad here. This reminds me a lot of what we do on the show. Simple, easy, fun, fresh, fast. And, and all the fans. You want me to hold it up? Hold it up. Me, me or the dish? Okay, there you go. <laughs> right here. It's a simple little salad, which I really like. I like that you use yep. grains. We made this vegan, which has no cheese inside there, which is actually a pea stew instead of a pesto. Yep. A little fancy term for charging more on a menu. Just saying. And, uh, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. And we have a lot of opportunities like that. We have a lot of salads where you can find them. Where it's right. very tasteful. And even the salad like this, you can always add a piece of fish on top of it. Uh -huh. And then you still have a light dish. You eat healthy, but I eat a piece of mai mai. I put my shrimp on there right. or a salmon. And I have a delicious meal. This guy's hungry right here. I'm going to get in trouble <laughs> if I feed you. No, we cannot do that. Got any questions out there? Cooking yeah. techniques? Questions? Anybody? Just raise your hand. My mom, my, usually my mom's in the audience to do this, but nobody ask, answers it. You got a question right here? Yeah, they're online. They're online? They're going to be online. They'll be on my page tomorrow with my credits on them. So. <laughs> the website, is this Disney website? It's a Disney uh, D23 website. D23. So what I'll do yeah. is on my Facebook page at Chef Ryan Scott on Facebook, I'll tag you for you. What's up, buddy? Chef Ryan Scott on Facebook. All you need yeah. to like it now, even if you don't get the recipe. That's how you get likes. Twitter too, by the way. Yes, my my buddy. Everything is finished, and we cannot share. We cannot share. <laughs> it's, we, we have to keep it for all of us. We have to keep it for us. Yeah. This is unfortunately the way that we have here. But we made a delicious crepe with seafood, is what you're asking, a savory crepe, and a killer bulgur salad, a, a grain salad with salad. raw veggies and a dressing. Yeah. Any other questions, guys? I can't hear you. Somebody said something? No? Oh, you're on your phone. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking to me. That's all right. <laughs> Tell your husband I said hi. I'm 6'2", by the way. All right, guys. So what I'm going to be doing, uh, right over here, I'm going to be signing after this. Come by and say hi. I'd love to take some photos with you all. And, uh, That's good. I had fun. You had fun? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you very much. Can I tell Joey you had more fun with me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Joey said, no, she had more fun with me. Appreciate all you guys coming out. I'm going to be hanging out over there for about and a half an hour And I hope I so. see you all in Disneyland. Thank you very much. I'll see everybody on the Manor Horn tomorrow. All right. How about another big uh, round of applause for Ryan Scott? He's going to be over here for autographs. He's amazing. Over there.